Okay, the recording is on. So, hello everybody. Welcome to the QBH community meeting. Today is April 15th, 2020, the Europe friendly time. Okay, um, so we have a very few items on the agenda. Maybe we can first go through the agenda and uh, if you have anything to to discuss, please feel free to add add items to the agenda. Okay. All right. So um, I think first is um, we can go through about the re release one dot three uh, one dot three development updates. So please remind that uh, we we are targeting uh, code freeze by the end of April. So it's basically uh, two weeks, two weeks away. And we are targeting uh, to have the first release of 1.3 on May 15th. And also please remind that uh, so there'll be uh, holidays in the, uh, the first week of May. So we maybe have only three weeks for the release. Okay, let's go to the features. Okay, the first is um, uh, cryo integration. Dave, do you have any updates about this? Uh, yes, yes. Uh, actually, I, I think we can uh, rename the, uh, the, 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 uh, the feature here, feature name here. Mm -hmm. Actually, we have, uh, I'm going to Verify not only the CIO but also mm -hmm. container D, and uh, I'm going to also uh, do some validation against the uh, Kata container maybe in this week or next week. Um, mm -hmm. So far, uh, both uh, container D and uh, uh, CIO uh, has done, and um, yeah. Um, there's, there are not many uh, issues, but just the one issue I have uh, pushed to GitHub and it's already merged. Yeah, and uh, I, I think we still still miss one documentation, mm -hmm. maybe a guide on how to uh, configure this uh, lightweight runtime and uh, how to use them. Yeah. Um, after the container and uh, the documentation, I think this this feature could be closed. Okay, um, just to add that uh, container D integration actually is uh, already verified in one, yeah, yeah. one dot one. Uh, or one zero, so maybe we can just add one more item about the Kata container. Yeah, uh, both uh, Cgroup FS and Assistant D has a very fine. Mm -hmm. Uh, I I said. I searched uh, the history from the GitHub. I found uh, there are some issues open there, which is related with uh, multi-tenancy. You know, the multi-tenancy is spot in Kubernetes. So um, I'm not sure we are going to do that or not, but this is related with the uh, uh, card container. Yeah, if we want to uh, spot a card container, we, we must be, um, how to say, we need need to make sure Kubernetes spread money, support money tenancy as well. But, 
but the ver verification is not is, is, is don't have such a uh, limitation. We can just uh, do some verification first. Yeah, I think that's uh, that's fine for uh, verification first because uh, multi tenancy. No, it's a very big work, and uh, yeah, even Kubernetes upstream don't don't have a, a canonical uh, definition about multi tenancy. So that definitely yeah. takes a long time. Okay. 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 So next will be uh, the HA support. So looks like the guy is not online. Shifa, do we have any updates, or maybe we can just uh, skip it? Okay. Uh, the HA for the cloud car is still in development. Yeah. Uh, for the HA for the cloud code, we will only support uh, in a containerized uh, development. Yes, if we uh, deploy the cloud code as a process, I think the HA will not support. We will use the uh, Kubernetes egress to to do the load balance to the mounted instance to the cloud car. Okay, um, I think we have uh, discussed a lot about this uh, proposal. Uh, so probably, uh, so the currently we just need to wait and see the, the main uh, pull request being submitted. Is there any blocking issue or not? Mm, no, uh, about this week or next week, we, we can uh, send a PR. Okay. So, next, uh, what about the um, logs and the EXCC? Oh, John J is not, also not online. Okay, so maybe I can give brief updates. Uh, so actually, the main issue about this uh, is uh, the main major thing need to resolve that is the 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 certification and the TRS between API server to cloud core and the the cloud core to to the uh, edge core. So actually, we also discussed a lot uh, during the pull uh, proposal. So currently, I think all the blocking issues have been resolved. Just uh, it still takes some time to get the main uh, pull request being raised. Okay. And for metrics, uh, metrics. So already we have the pull request there, but uh, looks like uh, a few. Very few people give uh, comments, so maybe we can just uh, open for a few more days. Otherwise, we can uh, we can get it accepted. All right. So upgrading to Gola one fourteen. Uh, is upstream uh, Kubernetes upgraded to one fourteen or not? Yes, I think so. And I will um, finish the pull request today. Uh, there were uh, uh, merge conflicts between my branch and the master branch. Okay, so uh, if, Kuben uh, if upstream Kubernetes already upgraded to uh, uh, Golan 114, maybe we need also upgrade the Kubernetes libraries. Okay. So uh, about the gateway support, I discussed with John Chi. So uh, he will try to finish the uh, first implementation pull request by this week. 
and hopefully get it raised by this way. And the uh, refactoring of edge mesh, this is already in. Yeah. Also the K admin support for send OS, this is already accepted. So uh, node authentication, I think it's still under development. No, mem uh, no pull request yet. Okay. The next three uh, is store page core as a system service. I, I know yet get any updates from a uh, in so I would assume there's no risk risk and also the following are, I think are the same so anyone have any question about the release progress no. Okay, so I think uh, we just, uh, I just want to remind that we have a few, uh, two weeks uh, for before the code freeze. Uh, so please everyone working on the enhancement, make sure your pull request get accepted. So after, full, after code freeze, we will focus on uh, bug fixes and the documentations to make sure the release becomes stable. Okay. All right, so uh, next will be the QBH annual review. So I have created one uh, initial document here. I can quickly go through and also I uh, schedule the one and not uh, a breakout meeting for uh, this Friday morning bridging time. So if anyone is interested in uh, dis discussing into details, please join. So here I can just uh, quickly go through the, the things. So basically the annual review is for um, projects under CNCF Sandbox uh, to, to review if it's um, uh, the status, if it's uh, uh, under health, healthy development or if it need any, need any help. So for the generally for a, a new review document, it will give some uh, briefs about the background. So like when is the project getting accepted and what's the original proposal for entering the sandbox? And also highlight the uh, alignment with cloud native. These are very general content. So I will just uh, uh, fill them up, uh, fill them later on. So basically for uh, uh, for any review, the things need uh, need to answer are a few questions. So the first is to show, uh, basically show some metrics about the, the community development. I think maybe only very few people had uh, took a look about this, so I think it's uh, worth sharing here. Okay, so I think one thing uh, can show about the project development is that the new pull request during the last year. So since we entered um, we entered the CNCF sandbox, uh, sandbox in um, March 2019. And after that, we uh, continually uh, new pull requests every week. And also last year we moved to 1.0. So during uh, 
June and July, there were a lot of uh, activities there. Okay, and also uh, the commits added to the main repo. Uh, because the, the dev states data is not quite accurate, so here I'm just using the the data from the from the git history. So it's also uh, added by uh, counted by week. So uh, you can find that every week we have a lot of uh, pull requests. Uh, so actually commits get uh, checked in to the main repo. Okay, so basically it's uh, the trend is similar with the uh, with the pull request. Okay, this one is uh, this one is basically showing from the uh, so dividing the contributions from the company uh, company perspective, but I think it's it's basically the same. So all the all the links are available in the document. If anyone are interested in the details about data, please feel free to access. Send it to the <coughs> to the chat. Okay. The second question is: uh, How many maintainers have we have? So, so we have one uh, maintainers um, document when we entered the the sandbox, but I think that's kind of uh, out of date. We need to we need to uh, update the information. So, so actually, like the approvers in different folders are also. Uh, I think are also a part of maintainer role because they are maintaining uh, specific packages of the project. So I think for here, we just need to uh, <coughs> collect the owner's file and uh, list all the approvals here. Okay, the third one is about uh, user adoption. So this one, I think, uh, maybe for for the project wise, especially on the GitHub, it's not quite. Uh, I'd say it's not quite. Uh, uh, we we're not doing quite well. So we we know there are a lot of adopters uh, started using QBH during past two months. Uh, we just need to. Have a doctor's file to uh, to list all of them. So here are uh, some confirmed, and also like the Xinhai IoT is one of the uh, the doctor that already use Cubage in production uh, production environment. So we just need to get their uh, case study uploaded. Okay, so next one would be the, how has the project performed against the schools? I think, um, I think for this one, we can uh, describe from two aspects. One is about the technical thing. So, so we have, uh, we have three or four um, releases uh, during last year, and we also moved it to 1.0. And we also added a lot of um, very important uh, features to the project. I just uh, we just need to update uh, update the description here, and also for the community. Actually, I think uh, we did a very good well job, a very good job. So uh, you may know that uh, during 2019, over 14% uh, pull requests were done by 
uh, non Huawei contributors, and also there are, I think there are over uh, 20 organizations contributing to this project. So it's kind of very uh, good number of uh, contribute uh, community diversity. And also for the contributing uh, developers, we increased from 30 to 300. So it's also a very uh, big pro progress. So here I'm just listing some of the uh, contributors that contributing to the project. Okay, so uh, the next question is about um, what's the current uh, goals of the project? I think for uh, we can also describe this in two aspects. One is about the technical thing. So we are we have listed. Uh, we have a lot of uh, things on the list in the roadmap. So if any one of you uh, would like to add anything, uh, I think uh, you can directly uh, open Visual or send a pull request to the roadmap. So for community, I think basically uh, this year we, we would uh, like to expand the community to support wider uh, user adoption and also attract more contributors to the project. So next is a uh, next uh, two are about some uh, pro pro process things. So maybe for uh, CNCF we want to have more uh, help on the promotion to the project. And also uh, for the incubation, that's another process. We, uh, we will start another um, process for applying the incubation. So that's uh, basically what we have now for the annual review. Anyone have any question about this or any suggestions? Uh, is there any progress or update on the on the incubation process? I mean, uh, mm -hmm. is that a positive for uh, the project to be an incubator project in this year? Yeah, I think so. Uh, so we and uh, we are so actually uh, me myself. I'm targeting to make it make it done by this week, uh, by this year, to enter incubation. So I think for incubation, the criteria for incubation, I can just uh, open it here. Uh, we not yet uh, started uh, in details preparing the preparing the materials, but I think the major thing is that uh, we would need three independent end users that use Cubage in production. And uh, so actually, you know that uh, IEF, uh, that, that's the first uh, Cubage um, uh, uh, enterprise level QH uh, service on uh, Huawei Cloud, and also there are already uh, many users using it uh, in the production environment. So the current, uh, currently the issue is that we need to uh, confirm with the end user to make sure they are okay to uh, to publish their uh, uh, information like. Uh, so basically like uh, how are they using and also maybe the scalability and uh, and uh, what kind of help, uh, what are kind of benefit they achieve like that. So the others like the healthy number of commuters, I think we, are, we have a healthy number of uh, commuters. 
and the, the ongoing flow of commits and the merged contributions. So this, I think, this is basically to tell that uh, project the project is uh, under healthy development, and I think we are also fine with this. And also the clear version of uh, a clear version scheme. So that's one. I think we are okay. So basically, we uh, the first thing is that we need to uh, make sure the we have enough uh, end user use case uh, public uh, uh, be published to the to the website or to GitHub, and the others are just uh, we need to prepare for the materials to show the to show the project is uh, healthy. Okay. Thank. Thank you. Thank you for your for your efforts on this. Okay. Uh, anyone have any uh, suggestion or question about this? Okay, so uh, we can move on. So uh, for more details, we can uh, we can discuss in, on the breakout meeting this Friday morning. All right, so. Um, Another thing is uh, uh, about the website uh, improvement. I think we are kind of uh, slow during these days. So uh, we, for the content we have, um, we now have the uh, Korean translation accepted. So if you go to the QBage website, you can now switch to um, Korean. Network is slow. So I would like to thank uh, the contributor from Samsung to uh, made this effort. And uh, so about the the website in improvement, like the appearance and also the other uh, content structure. Currently, we have no uh, no significant uh, progress. So maybe we can uh, delay it after uh, the code uh, freeze. Uh, the all the uh, contributors they have more uh, time to work on this. Okay. So seems like uh, that's all on the agenda. Um, anyone would like to discuss anything? Is, uh, is anyone have any question? Right. Um, if no questions, maybe um, we can finish the meeting early this week. So, yeah. All right.
Okay, so let's uh, save the 25th, uh, 25 minute, minutes for uh, people. Everybody's uh, maybe busy working on the uh, release development. Okay, so uh, thank you everybody for joining the meeting today. Uh, thank you. The yeah, the next week, uh, the next meeting will be the next week and it's uh, Pacific friendly time. Okay. See you until next week. See you. Bye. Bye.